All right, guys, today we're gonna to be installing this Blink Video Doorbell. This comes with the Sync Module 2. This is the newer version of the Sync Module. All right, so let's do a quick unboxing here. So here is the Sync Module. So this does come with a power adapter to power this. You will need a USB storage device to be able to use this module. Here is the doorbell. This is the backing plate for the doorbell. So with this doorbell, you'll notice these two metal screws here. You can actually wire your existing doorbell wire to these. And this will not only sound when someone presses the button on the app on your phone and send you a notification, but it also will sound your doorbell in your house. It does have that ability. So that's pretty cool. So this is a special tool here to be able to remove the doorbell once it's snapped onto the back plate here. And in here is where the power adapter is and the two batteries. So it comes with these Energizer Ultimate Lithium. These are really good batteries. Um, they're supposed to last quite a while. Here is the power adapter for the sink module. It comes with an angled mount for this. So if you wanna put this on the side of your door um, and view at an angle, you can mount this either way. If you have a flat surface, we're actually gonna be mounting uh, to the siding on the house and I'm gonna show you how that works. It comes with uh, two wire nuts. I assume that is probably for your existing doorbell if you need it. And then it comes with these two um, plastic anchors and screws. So most likely for mounting to a brick surface. All right, so I had purchased this vinyl siding mount and this is for a four inch um, overlap or spaced siding. And this is for this particular doorbell and it should fit right on here like this. I'll drop the link down in the description where I got this from. You can also go to any of the 3D printing websites if you do have a 3D printer and you could print something very similar to this or even design it yourself if you want and print it. Um, this was fairly cheap. I think I paid 15 bucks for this, but if you do have a 3D printer, I mean, you could print this thing for probably a dollar or so. So one of the first things you wanna do before installing this is go to your app store, whether it be uh, Android or Apple, and you wanna download the Blink Home Monitor. All right, so after you install the Blink app and sync it up with your Amazon account. So you're gonna to need to create an account, a Blink account, and also sync the Blink account with your Amazon account. Um, this is what you'll see for the screen. So we wanna add a video doorbell. So we're gonna hit that. It wants to access the camera. And then very, very important that before you install the doorbell on your house, right? Cause it's kind of hard to get off of the back plate once it's on, you wanna take a picture of the QR code. So there's a QR code on the back of here and you want to scan with the app. You want to scan that QR code before you mount the doorbell. And then after you scan it, it's going to give you this prompt here, create a new system. We're going to hit continue. We're going to name it. And then after you name it, it's going to ask you if you want to add with a sync module or without a sync module. We want to add a sync module. There is a QR code on the sync module. Also, you want to scan that. And then it asks you um, if you want to choose a system for your Sync 2 module, so you, you select the system that you created. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna plug the Sync module in, and I'll show you that. So the next step with your phone here is to hit the Discover Device. We hit Join. All right, so next it's gonna ask if you would like to find and connect devices on your local network, you hit Allow. And then all you do is simply pick your Wi-Fi, right? And then after you enter your password and hit Join, it sends all the info, updates the firmware if it needs to. You'll see it's updating firmware right now. All right, and it says it is added. And then now we have two solid lights. So that's showing that we're connected with the Wi-Fi. The green light's just your power light. All right, so now that the sync module is all set, we are gonna add our doorbell and we will have to scan that once more. Now it's gonna ask you to insert the batteries. And you'll see, wait until the lights blink red. They did. All right, so we're gonna mount this on the outside of the house now. You can see our old doorbell is right here. So I'm gonna mount this about the same height. This profile basically allows this to just sit right up in the siding here. Inside of here, when you're installing this, the screws that you use, you wanna make sure that they're not too tall, right? You can use the existing ones um, that came with the doorbell. 
All right, now that this is mounted, all you wanna do is slip your camera over the top, kind of press down on the bottom, and then it should click right into place. And you can test it by trying to lift it up a little bit. And that's all there is to, to mounting this. If you have this wire to ring your inside bell, it will ring your inside bell. And if you do, you'll get a notification on here. So one other feature here, you can disarm or arm it. If it's armed, then it will detect motion. Enable motion detection. I mean, you can set zones, right? So, um, and sensitivity and how long it will record for. You guys can play around with these settings on your own here. There's, there's quite a few different things, uh, but the system's cool. This sync module, you can, you can sync up other cameras and devices um, that you may have around your house, like a floodlight camera or uh, indoor cameras from Blink. All right guys, so that wraps it up for today's video. Um, super simple install. Um, the app is really intuitive. It kind of guides you step by step through how to install the doorbell. Uh, hopefully this video helped out a little bit too. If you have any questions, post them down in the comments. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Try to hit a thousand people here. Uh, appreciate you guys viewing the video. Thanks.